What's up everybody? Today I want to show you how to do pre-infusion on the Rocket Giotto. Pre-infusion can be done on any E61 espresso machine. The machine I'm using today uses a water tank, but if you're using a machine that's plumbed into a water line, you can still do this technique, but it's going to be a little bit different based on your water line pressure. The group head refers to a system that allows water to come into contact with coffee at high pressure. There's two pins in the E61 group head, one at the top and one at the bottom. The one at the top is going to allow water to come into the E61 group head, and the one at the bottom is going to allow water to expel after the shot is done and relieve all the pressure that's left over in the group head. The E61 group head uses a manual lever system to interact with these pins to allow water to flow in and out of the group head. When it's fully down, there's no water coming in, there's just water circulating at the top. You saw those two little inlet valves at the top, there's water circulating in and out of the heat exchanger system and that's all that's happening when the lever is down. When the lever comes about halfway up, then water is allowed to come into the group and into the dispersion screen and start to come into contact with coffee. On a tank machine, there's not a whole lot that happens at this stage because this mostly depends on water line pressure. There's no pump involvement, so it's whatever is left in the heat exchange, whatever is left in the boiler, whatever is coming in from the water line if you have a water line connected. All right, so I totally forgot to mention that when the lever is all the way up, that's when the pump is fully engaged and you're gonna get nine bars of pressure or whatever your pump is set to. That's true for a vibe pump, that's true for a rotary pump, whether you're plumbed in or not. So let's get back to it. The way that I like to do pre-infusion on the rocket is similar to how you would do a bloom and pour over. So I'm going to hit the coffee with a lot of water at first, let it hang out and sit without doing anything to it. Once I start to see that coffee coming through, before it starts dripping into the cup, I'll move it into the middle position. The middle position is just going to let it hang out. There's not going to be a whole lot of pressure. It might start dripping through a little bit. And I'll watch the coffee kind of come to the center and get everything nice and saturated before I engage the pump fully again. This usually takes about 10 to 15 seconds on my machine. And then I'll do anywhere between a 30 second extraction to up to 40 or even 50 seconds, depending on the cursed. Have we talked about how much I love these red cups? I think we have. So using pre-infusion on an E61 espresso machine can do a couple of things for you. If you're brewing single origin coffees that are a little bit lighter, a little denser, you can get more juicy, vibrant shots, especially if you're doing a ratio of like one to two or even higher. But on the other hand, you can also go with darker roasted coffees. I've been using Stumptown Hairbender, which is like a classic old school espresso, and have been doing more like a one-to-one -one ristretta shots and have been really like nostalgia tripping for these like old school shots that we used to pull at uh, La Mille Coffee Bar when that was still here in Baltimore. Kind of reminds me of that and it's super delicious. Those kind of shots were really tricky to get because you're pulling such a small amount of water through the coffee. Even with a darker roasted coffee that is in theory more soluble, you still would end up getting kind of sour shots every now and then. And that was around the time that people would say, oh, you have to drink espresso when it's hot because when it's cool, it doesn't taste very good. And really what that meant was that all of the good coffees were under extracted, but you had to drink them hot before you actually could taste them when they were about room temperature. That's my rant. So let me know if you try this out, if you have an E61 machine, if it's a rocket or if it's some other machine, let me know tanked, plumbed in how the results turn out. Or if you have a, another method of pre-infusion that you like to use, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. If you'd like more videos like this on Home Espresso, please feel free to like this video and give it a quick subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. It's like I've had espresso and nothing else today, and it's almost 11 o'clock.